most nations have a language that they speak. Okay, Canada has French and English. Obviously, Germany has German. France is French, all this stuff, right? But in, in the ancient world, um, nations had gods. That was the god that they had or the gods that they worshipped. A religion that was their national religion. And uh, there was a certain, you know, stages during war where um, if a nation took over another nation, sometimes they would allow them to still practice their religion. Well, I, Israel almost did the opposite. What they did is instead of taking over a nation, they accepted a second religion into their nation. So instead of being dedicated to Yahweh, they were also dedicated to Baal. In the story of 1 Kings uh, chapter 18, there's a story of Elijah where he confronts these prophets uh, to Baal because what they were doing is they were hunting down the, the prophets of Yahweh and they were killing them. And so in order to bring correction and to basically help set things right, because Israel had made the mistake of bringing in two world religions that both stated that their God was the one true God. That doesn't allow for much space um, for congruency or community to be built. What happened was you had to really choose one or the other. And being lazy about your religion wasn't really an option. And so what happened was Elijah eventually uh, does the challenges these other, all the priests of Baal. God proves himself through Elijah and God um, prevails. But the question is, and the lesson in this is, what are the things that we are inviting into our world, into our lives, into our churches, into the Christian community that really don't belong? You see, Israel was a nation that was saved and continually blessed by Yahweh and they gave the praise to Baal. It did, Baal didn't belong there and he didn't deserve the praise that God deserved, that Yahweh deserved. And so we have to consider what are, what are the areas where we are distracted? Are we, are we saying that God is Lord except over our bank accounts. The bank account ultimately is Lord and God is, you know, on the side. Or is it, you know, my time? God is Lord except for my time is actually my Lord. It's the one true God. We have to be careful as to what our time, our efforts, our expenditures, our, our morals, our language, what they're saying about who the one true God is. And so this is just a thought I had playing in my mind where I was just thinking about um, how sometimes I unintentionally invite destruction into my life or into relationships. And I need to be careful about this stuff. And I need to be mindful that I am taking on the way of Yahweh, the way of sacrifice, the way of community and connection, the way of humility over pride. And so I hope that you guys find this encouraging, maybe a little bit challenging, and that we together can grow as a community as we open up the dialogue, looking into what are the areas that we can learn and grow and invite Yahweh to bring correction.